often than not, we don't actually engage with the consumer. We work with the treatment center. Uh, we are strictly the marketing side of it. But when we when we collaborate with a particular center to figure out what the, um, the actual need is so that we can create marketing collateral um, that, that goes with that. What people are really looking for, and Dan said it earlier, it's the comfort factor, it's the hope factor. They are looking for the outcomes uh, data, but they're looking, and again, I, I end up, we do this all over the country, I end up being the guy that puts the face on the numbers, but the, the idea of the stories of the loved ones that have come through the program, they're looking for validation that this is the right program for them they want to talk to another mom of a son who was in this age range who was also suffering you know with an addiction to a specific you know a specific drug type um, they want to see on online in in video testimonials not in written testimonials nobody buys written testimonials they don't believe them to be accurate um, after google the second most searched site is youtube so they want to see video testimonials they want to see people who have come through the program. They want to see the mom of the life-changed son or the life-changed daughter or the, the wife of the husband or the husband of the wife. These are, these are validations that this is the right place for them to come to. And they want to know that somebody else has been through something similar so that there's a relatability factor between what they're going through, which often feels so alone. Like they're the only one in the world who could have ever gone through this particular situation. Little do they know there are other people who have gone through similar things, and they just haven't had the opportunity to be able to relate to them in that fashion. So um, to kind of echo all of this and to, to answer the question, when you market, the stats are incredibly important, but turn the stats into faces, specifically video testimonials in the sense, um, or with the permission, obviously, and the consent of the people who are willing to give it to you. Don't be afraid. A lot of times, and Dan speaks to this often, a lot of times people will credit you for saving their lives. They will do a video testimonial for you. If it will help somebody else, they will do it.